Happy 4th of July, everyone, and welcome to part 3 of my Skyrim Let's Play. I am sorry about the audio being cut off in the last one. Oh, yeah. Camera time. Uh, yeah. Camera, that should be up. Yeah. Camera should be up now, and, um, uh, so... I have no nothing to say really here, so... Uh, oh. Did I apologize for the audio being cut off in the last... I am sorry for the audio being cut off if I didn't say that last time, but, yeah. Sorry for the audio being cut off. Let's, uh, re-begin. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Wonder if that's just yeah. I took off the pocket crafting, so that's probably what this is. Welcome. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. Hmm. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those. So yeah, I'm gonna continue the main quest for once. Uh, I know the other ones I actually t Yeah, that's definitely a mod now. Oh crap. Be right back. Hello? Oh, was the microphone on at all during the- Okay, I'm sorry if the microphone wasn't on for any of that. I forgot to take it out. Anyways, let me recap what I've said so far. Um, uh, happy 4th of July. That right there. This right here is definitely a mod. Now that I'm actually seeing it. Um, uh, well, you watched everything else. Um, I'm gonna actually do the main quest line today, so this is probably going to be consist of just going up to Dragon's Reach, killing a few people along the way probably, definitely killing one of the wolves that always seems to, I shouldn't say definitely because I don't know if it's gonna pop, show up, but if it shows up, I will be killing a wolf in a bow right when I come around this corner. He'll come down from the area up here. What the heck? Okay, I don't even remember downloading that type of mod. Oh look, there's the wolf. What did I tell you? Killing the wolf. And yeah, I turned the quality back down because when I had it up on the higher quality, it would bug my game out and it would basically crash it within three seconds of starting it, which... Yeah. Oh look! I have no idea if those are Imperials or not. My favorite that I gotta kill. Yeah, just talk to my corpse, so... Well, I died. 
look at you. Oh, I'm back here. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, I'm so grateful. I won't let those people keep that one here. Should I attack the soldiers again? Yeah, I don't know, I might. And in case you haven't noticed yet, yes, while I am doing this, I do do weird things with my mouth. I, th I wonder if the kitty's still... I wonder if the kitty is still there. Yes, it is. The kitty is still... Oh, no, that's the bunny. There's the kitty. There's the wolf. No. Oh yeah, kill camera for this one. Hmm. You know what, no, I'm going to ignore the Imperial soldiers this time and run through the forest. Off to the giant fight. Spoilers, guys. This giant is always here. It's not really a spoiler if you've played more than an hour into the game, I suppose. Harvest the potatoes. Wait for Ayla to come up and tell me that I did nothing. Oh, this is the first time she's actually said I've done something right. Normally she just says, Oh, we handled that well. No thanks to you. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitening up in... Uh, yeah, just stop talking and then hold me there. Captive. Time to harvest cabbages right in front of this person and then sell them for money. Honest pay for honest work, as he always says. Ho 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 ho. There's a nip in the air. Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it comes from my farm. No, I don't want it there. I'm moving around the HUD, guys. Don't worry about what I'm doing. It is. Yeah. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people. It's open. I wonder if Open Cities is still on. I know I wanted that mod on, but uh, maybe that's why the thing is running so slow. Yeah. Saving. Oh, yeah, I gotta refavorite that. Yeah, I just saved just in case I accidentally ended up killing that guard and then having the entire- or not killing it, just attacking the guard and then having the entire town chase after me. I remember doing this white run in the beginning when I was on my PS3. I would open- I came in here and it was the middle of the night so I- and I had no idea where I was going so I ended up getting stuck in there. And it just so happened to autosave right when I went in there, so I would just keep loading it back up right there and dying over and over and over again. And then this guard's gonna come up and tell me that I can't go in. 
Yes, it does seem like I have auto open cities on. Good. Moving the hood again. I can completely hide it. That's useful. Iron dagger, here we come. In case you're wondering, yes, I am procrastinating. You think ah, good, a lot of weapons and armor need leather for strap. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the best of it. Hire. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Need something? Mm -hmm. You have it. Why don't you keep that dagger in hand? Maybe you... Get rid of one of these because I don't need both. Skyforge steel, huh? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Wow, I'm surprised at myself. This is the longest I've gone without getting majorly distracted by some giant side quest that stops me from doing the main storyline. I will not uh, talk to that guy. I want to kill him, but I can't. I don't want to talk to him. Ignore the guard, ignore the guard, just keep running, go to... You gotta do the main quest line. I mean, unless you guys comment and say you want me to get distracted and do the, um, uh, other things, but unless you do, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing the main quest line. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balbrook is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want step? to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helga? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. Yep. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helga? Should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm sorry if you guys wanted to actually listen to the storyline, but. Yeah, this is a more realistic version of how you guys would end up playing it. Well, at least once you get to your third or fourth walkthrough. This is like my seventh. Attachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. 
If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Don't even think about it. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run service. I won't forget it. Good. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Is it worth it? There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your gum. Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Interesting. This is usually around the time where I start and uh, just go full out mage. Holy shit. I'm not gonna read them all. Come to Dragon. Hmm? What? Project? The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall. Baron is sitting on his Jarl. I think I found someone who can help with your new wizard. Dragon. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Oh yes, he is. Yes, yeah, I dragons. should use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous room in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tea. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Off this to is Bleak a priority. Falls. Oh, I thought you think we take a look. Fight the dragon. Dragons. Or it's too late. time we passed while I was in there. A lot apparently. rain texture. Is that a mod that I downloaded? Ah, oh, whatever. Yes, house car. We leave immediately. Just lost against a dragon? They say Elgin got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. So dark.
even if this was one of the mountains that was added in by a mod. I'm gonna stop leading into the camera, cause yeah. Might have been added in by a mod, I'm not sure though. You know, since no one's attacking, I'm just gonna keep that equipped. I'm going the wrong way. This is not the way. These lanterns actually do help a little bit. I keep on the path and I should be at Luke Falls Barrow in maybe an hour in game time, not our time. That's right, I can level up, but I'm gonna wait till I'm about to die to do that. Or I'll wait till the end of the video so you guys, if you'd end up deciding to comment, you can vote on what skills I should get next. Well, that escalated quickly. And now you can see why I go in third person for candlelight. It lights everything up so much more. Good, it stopped raining. Just gonna pause a moment. Look at the giant sky gina. And then there's the Milky Way. And then here's a bandit encampment that I'm probably gonna die at again. Oh, they're just regular bandits. It's when they get. To the um, oh my god, that has to be the sissiest way to die. Has to be the sissiest. I cannot talk, which is bad considering this is that's the only way. Oh, we both hit each other at the exact same time. What are the odds? See how those are better. Hmm. 
only been 11 minutes, wow. Sorry, I was looking at the um, uh, streamer HUD again to see how long... Uh, great, I got my mouse back. You know what? I don't really give a crap. As long as the game still works, I don't care. Oh yeah, that is another mod that I have down there. It makes the iron ore veins glow. Actually makes all ore veins glow. I really hope you can't see the mouse because that would be really distracting if it were me. damage. Hunters! Just kidding, they're bandits. All the hunters are complete noobs in this game. And for the sake of time, this is the end. Oh my god, that's a direct bullseye right up the nostril. That's gotta hurt. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for um, part three of my Skyrim walkthrough. I hope you all enjoyed. Now, um, please like, fave, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I will see you all later.